I'm Clinton Griffiths with today's Ag Day Minute. Grain markets surging on Thursday with soybean futures topping the $11 mark for the first time since July of 2016. So what's behind that rally? Uh, we didn't plant enough soybeans. If China was going to buy soybeans in earnest to try to fulfill the phase one trade deal, we could run out of soybeans. Well, all of those things are coming to fruition. But that's not news in the last two days. What is news is that it does look like uh, the Republicans are going to keep control of the Senate, which means not a huge influx of new taxes. That is that is very good for the economy. And more U.S. soybeans are heading overseas, this time to Brazil. Reuters reporting it saw a shipping lineup that showed about 38,000 tons of beans were being loaded onto a bulk cargo vessel for shipment to the country. Now, Brazil is the world's top exporter of soybeans, so it almost never needs imports. But this year, growers have sold huge amounts of beans to China, and that has left them with little for use in their own country. Nestle Purina is launching a line of dog and cat foods that include insect proteins and other alternatives to meat. Nestle Beyond Nature's Protein has two versions, one that mixes in black soldier fly larvae with chicken and beans, and another that includes chicken, pig's liver, and plant protein. The new products go on sale in Switzerland this month. For more ag news, watch Ag Day weekdays on this station or anytime at agweb.com and follow us on social media.